Hi there. Today we're going to look at an amazing activity for language learners called Poodle Read Aloud. Are you ready? All right, so we're in as a teacher in this course. I'm going to show you from the teacher's end as the teacher creates it and from the student's end as the student engages with the activity. All right, so first thing, as a teacher, we're going to turn editing on at the top right. I'm in a Moodle course called Develop a Moodle Course. It's on a free platform, Moodle platform, for teachers to create courses and practice their Moodle skills on Moodle 4. So let's get started with uh, the activity. We're going to hit add an activity or resource. So let's scroll down a bit. Decide which section you want it in, of course. I've got a few activities that you might want to try out here. And um, there's mind map, assignment, showcase with snap, word cloud. And now we're going poodle read aloud that's already there, but I'm going to show you how to create it and then we'll go into what's there. Add an activity or resource. Here we are. We're going to go into activities and scroll down until we get to read aloud. It's at the very bottom, you can see in the meantime all the activities that are available in this particular Moodle site, Moodle 4, and everything is compatible with Moodle 4. And you're welcome to try these out when you create a course. And everything, of course, is completely free, but you need to take the training, which is also completely free, so no worries. All right, so here we are, read aloud. This is great for listening practice, and it's not only for English, it's for other languages as well. We're going to call it this, let's uh, add the text. We can add a description, but we don't have to. If you know much about lychee, but I'm trying to grow a tree. There's the time limit. I'm going to make it no limit. I don't like limitations, as I've said in the past. I'd like my students to be able to try things out and not feel that they're limited in any way. So, no limitations. All right, the reading passage, there it is. Sorry, that wasn't it. Uh, the reading passage was taken from Wikipedia. Let me add it once again. There we go. There it is. Okay, let's uh, scroll down until we get to the next stage. And then passage language. Notice lots of languages here, so feel free to, if you're teaching other languages, which you could very well be. You can do this in others. I've chosen Kendra. This is by default, but there are other accents here that you can have Great Britain, US, male, female, and Australia, New Zealand, and so on. You can have various speeds, medium, slow, or extra slow. Alternatives, um, that's for you. You can fill that in. And then everything else is pretty much uh, taken care of. Notice it's all set. Okay, maximum attempts, uh, advanced, normal, human, for grading, calculations, and then the grade, uh, grade to pass is 100 out of 100. They just need to do it. Score of the latest attempt, common module, restrict activity completion, um, complete when they get a grade. And of course, it must receive a passing grade. Uh, minimum grade, uh, that's not an option. And then I'm going to save and display. Now, notice what's next. Next, I'm going to go in. There it is, Lychee. I'm going to go in, and there's the activity. I'm going to go in as a student. Change my role, switch role. This is how you can check this is absolutely amazing, isn't it? You can check what the student will view and see if you need to make any changes. So this is what it looks like. Isn't this great? Notice you listen and then you practice and then you read the passage aloud and speak at a speed that is natural for you. So here we go. Listen. This is great for listening. We can play and stop at any time. I don't know if you heard that. It's kind of quiet. Let's try again. Hopefully you'll hear it. Lychee is a monotypic taxon and the sole member. All right, let's hear it again. 
Lai Chi is a monotypic taxon and the sole member in the genus century. All right, let's return to menu for the next stage. Next stage is practice. Listen to the speaker, repeat after each sentence, and check your pronunciation. All right, so let's start with play. Lai Chi is a monotypic taxon and the sole member in the genus Lai Chi in the Soapberry family, Sopindaceae. Okay, now it's our turn. Lai Chi is a monotypic taxon and the sole member in the genus Lai Chi in the Soapberry family. All right, so let's click on the icon for the recording. So, Lai Chi is a monotypic taxon and the sole member in the genus Lai Chi in the soapberry family. And let's see how I did. I can listen to it and wait and see my score. May take a few seconds. Notice that was mispronounced. Sapindasia. Let's say that. Sapindasia. Oh, I got it right. Okay, then I go on to the next sentence, stop, and so on. Okay, so let's say we've done that. Let's go back to the menu and go on to the final stage where we read the whole thing. So let's record. And the passage just above the recording. So. Lychia is a monotypic taxon and the sole member in the genus Lychi in the soap berry family, Sapindacea. It is a tropical tree native to the Guangdong, Fujian, and Yunnanin provinces of southeast and southwest China, where cultivation is documented from the 11th century. I think that's it, even though I added some extra words. We'll see what happens with that. Let's um, stop and see. There it's processing. We'll wait a few seconds until the processing is complete. And thanks for reading. Check for results. All right, so let's see my results. Cross your fingers. The submission has been received, but has not been graded. So uh, I'll have to grade myself. All right, checking again in two, one, checking. View full report. Notice I don't have all the stars, so let's see what my report says. Maybe I added X. The latest attempt has been received and evaluated and shown below. So what is my evaluation? Let's see. All right. I got notice Lai Chi was mispronounced. 11th was mispronounced. I've got two mistakes. So my grade is 76. My accent is 95. How about that? All right. So that's if you have any questions about that, um, let me know. Let me just check by going into my regular role as a teacher, go back into the course and uh, see what the stop edit mode, scroll down and see what it looks like from the teacher's point of view, even though note, notice there's Aminote, which is a great tool if you're interested in collaborative reading and annotations. Failed. Complete the activity. Oh my gosh, I failed. As a student, of course. Which means it's not a hundred. Remember, you need to get to a hundred. That was my setting. So let's um, change the settings. Failed. I failed. You see, because I didn't get a hundred. All right, so let's change that because that's kind of harsh, isn't it? So we're going to go into settings and um, based on my results, if I can get a hundred right away, how can I expect my students to get a hundred right away? So let me change that. No time limit is fine. Um, what else do we have here? No time limit. Slow is fine. And uh, let's change. Target is a hundred. That's fine. Maximum. 
Okay, let's go into grade. The grade you cannot change the type. Score of latest attempt. Okay, we're going to change the activity completion. We're going to unlock it, even though it's not advised, but it does work. And we're going to change it to not require 100. That's a bit too much. Grade to pass. Grade to pass, we're going to make it 60. Okay. And uh, last attempt. Score of high scoring attempt. And uh, that should work. It must receive a grade. A passing grade. Okay, that's fine. Passing grade will do. All right, so let's go back, save, and go back into the course, and let's see what happens now. Maybe now it'll look a lot better than having there. Done! Complete this activity! Yay! All right, so that's how it works, okay? It's, um, it's great that we can make changes in an online course depending on what happens. Something that we can't do face-to-face. Once something is done in a face-to-face class, once something is said, it's done. No editing to anything, really. All right, that's the value of electronic LMSs such as Moodle. Digital is the way we work and learn best. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below. And subscribe.